is the comparison of the three types of binary keying techniques, namely the amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying, and phase shift keying. Uh, so here you can see the block diagram, uh, sorry, uh, the comparison table, uh, whereby if you see the first point, uh, in ASK, we know that the general expression for ASK is root 2ps into or AC cos omega ct, when the data bit is 1, and when the data bit is 0, the amplitude shift keying signal is, amplitude is 0. So how can you define the amplitude, uh, uh, the mathematical expression for FSK, it is equal to root 2 ps into cos 2 pi FHT when the data is 1. For data 0, you will have uh, low frequency. Uh, so that is uh, root 2 ps into cos 2 pi FLT or omega LT when data bit is 0. Similarly, PSK signal is defined as root 2 ps cos omega CT for data bit 1 and uh, root 2 ps into cos omega CT plus pi when data bit is 0. So we can simply write it as plus or minus AC, AC cos omega CT, cos omega CT and plus AC cos omega CT for data bit 1 and minus AC cos omega CT for data bit 0. Similarly, in ASK, so coming to the second comparison, in ASK, the message is unipolar. And similarly, in FSK also, the message signal is unipolar energy. In binary PSK, the message signal is bipolar. Because uh, uh, coming to the generation principle of ASK, simply an unipolar energy is multiplied with the synchronous carrier C of T to produce the ASK signal. But here in PSK, bipolar energy is multiplied with uh, carrier. So this is the generation principle of PSK. But in FSK, because you have two frequencies, you need two modulators, uh, uh, two modulators in the FSK signal generation. So, so two synchronous carriers are required. One is uh, uh, for high frequency and the other is for the low frequency. And coming to the third comparison, so here uh, carrier frequency is omega c. I mean, two, only a single carrier is required. And uh, in FSK, we will have two frequency changes. That is FH for higher frequency, higher frequency for data bit 1 and low frequency for data bit 0. Similarly, in ASK, you will have two amplitude variations. In FSK, you will have two frequency changes. And in PSK, you will have two phase changes and uh, in PSK the carrier is uh, only omega c and coming to the Euclidean distance in ASK the Euclidean distance is root ps into ts or you can write it as root es and similarly the Euclidean distance for uh, FSK is root over 2 es or root over 2 into ps into ts where es is a simple energy which is equal to PS into TS. Similarly, the Euclidean distance for PSK is 2 root PS into TS, or you can write it as 2 root ES. 2 root ES. And coming to the bandwidth of ASK signal, it is 2FP. Uh, and the ASK signal also, the bandwidth is 2FP, but the, it, uh, our FSK needs a lot of bandwidth, which is equal to 4FP. So high bandwidth is required for transmitting the FSK signal when compared to ASK and PSK. This is a drawback of FSK. In ASK, we have amplitude variations in carrier. So noise accumulation is more. So noise immunity is less. But that's why the probability of error is more in the case of ASK and which leads to the low SNR. So SNR is low in ASK technique because of high amplitude variations. Here, noise immunity is less and probability of error is high. And in FSK as well as PSK, the, there are no amplitude variations in the carrier. So probability of error is less for PSK. And uh, uh, the probability of error of FSK signal lies in between ASK and PSK. 
because the Euclidean distance uh, magnitude is in between ASK and PSK. If you see the magnitude of uh, FSK, the Euclidean distance is root of 2ES. It may be, it is uh, greater than uh, uh, ASK, but it is less than FSK. Sorry, but it's less than PSK. So that is the reason higher the Euclidean distance, low will be the probability of error. So that's why the probability of error for uh, ASK is high. It's greater than probability of error for FSK is greater than probability of error for PSK. So out of three techniques, probability of error is less in PSK. So that's why noise immunity is high, uh, which leads to an improvement in the SNR for PSK techniques. So this is about the comparison of all the three techniques. Similarly, these are the just uh, factors uh, uh, that uh, you can see here. Uh, like in ASK, what are the constant parameters in ASK? The amplitude of carrier is switched between the magnitude levels of SS signal by keeping the frequency and phase of carrier as constant. In FSK, the amplitude and phase of carrier are constant, but there is only change in the F frequency. In PSK, the amplitude and frequency of the carrier will, or the constant parameters, the phase will vary. And coming to the polarity of binary input, we already discussed in ASK and FSK, the polarity is unipolar. And in PSK, the, it is bipolar. Uh, so this is all about the comparison of uh, the three types of keying techniques. In the next module, we can continue with the probability of error calculations for the three types of keying techniques as well as the QBSK. Thank you for listening.